A little while ago, we looked at a Passive House retrofit project that was thickening the walls with eye joists screwed to the outside. Turns out, they also thickened the roof. A new roof was framed on top of the existing roof deck, which was air sealed with high performance tape. When I arrived, much of the roof had already been framed, but I was able to climb up on the roof for a little valley framing. Because the framing is overlaid, there's really no valley rafter. Instead, the compound bevel at the bottom of the jack rafters are reversed and they flush into the existing roof. This means laying down a strip of roof decking before the framing is complete. Another benefit of framing on top of an existing roof is that you can walk between the rafters on the decking. Makes carrying lumber a lot easier. To look at this valley framing, we're going to follow along with Carpenter of the Year, Ben. The Carpenter of the Year. Carpenter Ryan of the Olivier. Year. And Ben Bogey, his biggest fan. The valley line is snapped on the decking strip and rafter locations are marked along the line. This can be done with a string line and tape measure, a framing square, or old-fashioned math. Even still, sometimes rafters need to be trimmed to fit. Long half, uh, half an inch. Then, they put it on the line and nail it. This overroof adds an extra 16 inches for cellulose insulation. Because the existing deck is sealed, the roof assembly needs to be able to dry upward if it gets moist or wet. Above the joists, Ben and Ryan install a smart vapor membrane, which allows drying from below and prevents bulk water intrusion from above. A ventilation space is created above the membrane with various furring strips in a crosshatch pattern, which allow continuous airflow under a top layer of roof decking and metal roofing. This roof ventilation scheme is called a sarked roof, and the strips are called sarking. It's a European thing. They begin with a ledger strip installed perpendicular to the rafters, and they butt rafter tails to establish a straight facial line. These ripped down 2x4s are screwed into the eye joists and spaced evenly at the bottom with a little jig. With one side of the roof ready, Ben cuts some gauge blocks so that they can string line the framing corner to corner and remove any last humps. Now, they can fill in the rest of the sarking, cutting the hips in place and flushing the tops to the first course, which will ensure a great looking cap on an energy efficient overachiever.